Hello and welcome to Sewing Miss Rice. So last time we finished sewing on the button eyes and mouth. And now we're going to go and effectively make this a sleeve. Trim off any threads you need to, but you'll just need a couple of little pins. Uh, make sure you're pinning nice side to nice side, of course, or if that doesn't make sense to you, just make sure that the button eyes and mouth are on the inside. You'll be flipping this inside out later. The important thing is we want to make sure that the hem is inside of everything, just like all the others. So we just take a quick moment here to do our seam, just like we have the other times. So going forward, backwards, and then forwards. Really doesn't take you very long. Make sure to take out your pins as you go along. And I would say this is probably the last super easy stitch you're going to do at this point as the next two seams are a little bit more difficult. So as you can see we have something that looks like a sleeve now and I'm holding this in place so we can go and close up the top and bottom. So you're going to just very carefully put in your pins making sure that you are able to sew along each of the edges and you're just going to take care of this and do all four edges. It really doesn't take long. And the big thing is, is you'll want to pivot at the corners. And we're just going to kind of speed through this here a little bit. I did want to take it off here just to show you how it would look. So again, back and forth, go down, and again showing you here. It's better if you do it in one continuous seam, but this was just sort of the end here. I wanted to show you how we have a little box. And now we just have to sew the top and two seams and make sure to leave a hole open for ourselves. If there's a step you're likely to have to seam rip, it would probably be this one, simply because of the difficulty of making sure everything stays together. So again, see so you're running along here. And then just like that, turn it inside out, or rather right side out and you're ready for your stuffing and the whip stitch. So next video, I'll show you those two things. Until next time, happy sewing!